been nearly three weeks since Michael Hastings was killed in a fiery car accident in West L.A. You may recall this story. The award-winning journalist captured fame with his 2010 Rolling Stone wartime article that forced General Stanley McChrystal to resign as commander of the U.S. forces in Afghanistan. This week, Kimberly Dvorak spent the day in Los Angeles to learn more about this accident. She joins us now on set talking a little bit about what she learned. And, you know, it's not, not really into conspiracy theories so much, but it really is about finding out the facts about what happened here. Aren't we interested in that? Yes, absolutely. There are a number of scenarios that could have played out, and it's still too early in the investigation as nobody's been granted the police report you know, that details exactly what happened on scene. But clearly, there are a couple things that stood out in, in my mind when I went up and visited the scene and visited law enforcement. What stood out in your mind? You said you couldn't get the police report. They weren't, they weren't giving that out. Yeah. So what, el what else stood out in your mind? Well, the fact that when you go to mm. the, the L.A. Police Department, then you go to the Fire Department, and you go to the different agencies, they all said they couldn't comment, and some of them said they were told not to comment on the story. So that kind of stands out. If, uh, you know, we look at the NSA, the government says, if you have nothing to hide, don't worry. I think it kind of has a reverse role here. Now, the... Uh, I think we have video of the scene. If we yeah. could show the video, we, we, you can see what we're kind of... Give you an idea of what we're talking about. There is the actual yeah. uh, scene. Okay, so... The so as far as the accident goes and things that we do know, it was an extremely hot fire and I've talked to um, military personnel who have said that this is an extremely hot fire, that this is not something you normally see with a car like this. This is a 2013 Mercedes-Benz and a statement from Mercedes said that they are aware of the accident and waiting to help the LAPD but they have not got the call from Los Angeles Police Department as of yet. So that intensity of the fire is very concerning and also the placement of the engine and the drivetrain as we see here. They are completely between 150 and 250 feet from the accident. However, the car was going south and the engine and drivetrain were behind it. And after I spoke with a couple of university physics professors, mm -hmm. they said in an accident like this, the engines and whatnot would go with the forward so velocity of the... So what does your gut tell you in something like this? You've been on a lot of these stories. What, what, are, you, what, are, you, what are you looking at and where are, you, where are you going with this? Well, I'm looking at the possi all possibilities. I mean, he could have been drinking and driving. That's certainly something he could have done. That he was near the clubs on Sunset Boulevard. So that's a possibility. But I'm more inclined to believe that there were absolutely zero skid marks. So something else happened. Either the car malfunctioned or something was on the car that allowed that to trigger and blow up. Mercedes says their cars just don't blow up. They take great care to, for them not to do so. You said something also very interesting that, that, that cars can be remotely controlled. Is that, you, you'd mentioned yeah. something to that effect. A absolutely, and that came out of the University of Southern Cal or of uh, San Diego here. They did a report in 2010, which they took like a basic car, like a Nissan Sentra, and using an iPad like we all have here on the desk, mm -hmm. uh, they, they were able to hack into the car system and uh, you know, operate the accelerator, the brakes, windshield wipers, lights, mm -hmm. steering. So there are so many factors in play here. There's, there's a lot more investigation that needs to be taken here, mm -hmm. and I will continue to follow it. Obviously, if there's any kind of foul play involved, you know, we want to make sure we get that out to the public, although mm -hmm. the LAPD has already ruled foul play out of this, which means that we should have access to these police reports in go. a timely manner. Kim Duvorak, thanks this morning. Thank you. Nice to see you. Okay.